But then we get another tease of Becky versus Rhea because as Becky is about to walk away from Indy and presumably go and talk to Adam Pierce, we get a little bit of a stare down between the NXT Women's Champion and the Women's World Champion. So this is like the fourth time, fifth time, sixth time that they've teased this match (laughs) over the years. And people think that this might mean that it's going to happen at Mania. What do you think? It... I, it just seems right to do it at Mania. Mm. Um, I feel like it also depends on where Jade is. I feel like we're see, kind I of think forgetting. Jade, I think Jade would face Charlotte at Mania, and we got that tease on SmackDown. I can only get on board with that if, if Charlotte loses. For, if it's not for I thought you were going to say if it's not for a title. Not for a title, and Jade wins. That's... Oh, Jade yeah. has to win. You, you need you. Charlotte doesn't need to win there. No, and that's and if she doesn't win, you can even extend it into a, a trilogy of matches where she'll win the second, and then she gets a win over Jade. But you need to put Jade over strong. There's that's also Bianca. That's what I'm saying. Like Jade that's why. Win. That's what I'm saying. Like this match of Rhea and Becky needs to happen at a you know royal rumble maybe to start to mm. get the feud going judgment day may get involved you know we see dom dom getting involved and a dq whatever um and then it extends into mania with we'll say dom being banned from ringside or it doesn't even matter doesn't even matter if he's at ringside or not because it's a false count anywhere no dq whatever um you know it, they, this this match is too big to put on any pay-per-view other than a big four. And if you look at the big four that are, that are happening in the upcoming future, war games, those two are going to have their own thing. Um, Rhea is going to be involved in either a war games match or a title match. Becky, same thing. Royal rumble makes sense because you know, you need to have at least them in a title match of some sorts. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Royal Rumble, you can do a a non finish or a false fit, whatever the term is, to extend it into a, another match. This just has so much of a big match feel to it that it only makes sense to do it at Mania, and <clears throat> it'd be a good match to main event night one, mm. especially after last year where. You had no women's matches main event because of the bloodline taking over. And the only match that really makes sense out of the bloodline peeps to main event would be, would be Roman night two. Well, and again, one, it's going to depend on how long they have Becky as NXT women's champion. And two, I think as far as WrestleMania goes, like if a women's match main events, I feel like Becky versus Rhea would be, a tricky one to compete with like Jade versus Charlotte or Jade versus Bianca. Like, I don't know that Rhea versus Becky would be a front runner just because it it depends on how the stories develop, you know? And like, they know if they have Jade, like be in a main event at WrestleMania at her first WrestleMania, that's going to be such a big F you to AEW. So it's like, there's that added aspect. Yeah. Imagine her face fucking everywhere, dude. Tony Khan would be like kicking himself. But Main event night one of a buy one get one free. <laughs> it's just like yeah. So there's a lot of things, but I do think you know they've teased it enough. We need to see it at some point. 